Hey, it's Paul, the friendly viewer. The Apple 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pros have a massive force touch trackpad. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how well it works using a stylus. Before we begin, check out the description below for any updates since I post the video, and also for links to the products that I talk about in the video. For the stylus in this review, we're gonna take a look at the Miko 2-in-1 Precision Series Stylus. So let's get into it. The Miko stylus that we're using today is very nice and very affordable. The kit comes with a nice package with two stylus pins as well as a set of replacement tips. Each pin has a different tip on each side and a cap that can be used to cover up the tip that's not in use. The fiber tip is soft, provides a nice feel, but is less accurate. The disc tip is flexible, providing contact at nearly a 90 degree angle and glides nicely providing great accuracy. We're going to test out using the stylus on the MacBook Pro trackpad with four tests. We're going to compare using the disc tip, the fiber tip, and using my finger, which is what the trackpad was designed for. The first test is tracing the hair portion of the Friendly Reviewer logo using the image preview markup feature. The result shows that the disc tip is the best. The fiber tip comes in a very close second, but it's almost a tie. And my finger comes in third. The second test is writing the Friendly Reviewer using the Image Preview Markup feature. I found that writing was a little awkward. When you pick it up and start writing again in a new location on the trackpad, the pointer is still where you left it. You have to slide the pointer over and begin to make your next mark. This causes you to have to draw your letters a little different than normal. This one is close as well. I put my finger as the best with the disc tip coming in a close second and the fiber tip coming in third. The third test is using the lasso tool in Affinity Photo to cut out the hair portion of the logo. I noticed that it is a bit more responsive than the image preview markup feature. The results were close again with the disc tip just barely beating out the fiber tip and my finger coming in a distant third. The fourth test is palm rejection. It works very well when I use my finger because that's what it's designed to do but I could not get it to work with a stylus no matter what I did. Again, that's fine because it wasn't designed to do this. So overall, after performing the four different tests, it's clear that the MacBook Pro wasn't meant for a stylus, but it actually works very well in the different types of art programs. So if you're drawing, painting, using something like Photoshop or Affinity, it could be useful to get that precision. As far as using it for writing though, it really messes you up because when you pick it up and put it down, it's gonna start where it was before. That would be a nice feature if they added that in, but the trackpad's not really meant for that. It'd also be nice if they enabled it to use the Apple Pencil in the future. That's on my wish list. So other than that, I think it's actually a pretty good thing to try out sometime if you wanna do it. I would recommend the Miko 2-in-1 Precision Series Stylus. I think it works great and also works very well on iPads and other things with touch screens. So go check it out. This has been Paul, the friendly reviewer, taking a look at using a stylus on the MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching.